Hello everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. And welcome to a brand new series called Small Lands. I know, I'm a little late to the party, but better late than never. I don't know too much about it from what I've seen. We're, we're small, hence the name. It's a great survival adventure game that I wanted to take a look at. I'm going to do it a little different than maybe others are doing. We're going to just take it nice and slow. We already fight zombies all the time on the other series, so this one, it's in what they call peaceful mode. If you attack creatures, they will of course attack you back. Um, we'll start off with that, and if we get too bored or if we want more combat, we can always change that. But I hope you're ready to join me, and I'll show you a little bit of the character creation, and then we'll jump right into it. So body type, we're going to go with female. Head. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I guess we'll go with gentle ears interesting um i'm gonna go with folded i think we'll stay there straight stylish bushy mm-hmm i think i like that lamellate hair okay bald that with the mustache mm-hmm and the bushy eyebrows but uh let's go with long hair hair color I think I'm gonna just go with the blue. The sky looks pretty. Eyes. Double pupil. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, double pupil. Eye color. I do like the gold and the blue playing off each other. Skin color. Ooh. Let's go with inflamed like we are sunburned. Facial markings, not too many choices. Kind of look like a Sith. Nah, let's just go like that. But I think I'm happy. All right, let's go. Intrepid vanguards, your queen is ill. Gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure, whatever the cost. Be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. Looks like we're underground. Yes, hello, I see you waving. It is I, Sentinel Virgil. Hello, Virgil. Let me just uh, zoom in on those rock hard abs, if you know what I mean. Oh, you've heard that one. Greetings, I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows, as I have crucial information to impart. Well, let me have it, Virgil. I need to know. Keep a keen eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. That's convenient. Outside, you'll find Captain Hearn. He will help you in your first days outside the burrows. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Aha, an effigy. The overland is rich with natural resources and food, and some can only be harvested with cor the correct tool. Got it? And he was telling us how to use our antenna mode. Pretty neat. Okay. And there's some twigs here. Oh, good. And then it gave us some crafting recipes. This is the crafting menu. Here we have inventory, crafting, map, compendium, and codex. Oh, good. So like a quick little synopsis of what we just did. Here's the map and he said something about Hearn. It says we're in a burrow underground, so we must have to get out of here. Okay, so we can craft this right from our inventory. We're going to need some fiber. What if I change to, uh, what was it, first person mode? How do we like this? Pet whistle. I want a pet. I want a pet. I need one. This is resin. I don't know which mode I like yet. All right. All right, Mr. Al. How many licks does it take to get to the center? Wrong Al. Press tab to open the inventory and select the codex to help you keep track of all the workstation and items you can craft at each. You can also check which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Okay, cool. So you see codex. It looks like we, what do we have on now? Anything? We got to speak to Hearn and he can give us padded or light leggings, it looks like. 
Gotcha. Oh, we can make um a wood hatchet. Oh, and I made it. We had a wood club already. And that it says the wood club is a primitive club for attacking any threats. I don't know if you can see there. It says blunt damage six to eight, critical five percent. And the hatchet is a simple hatchet for harvesting less hardy resources from the world. This is a mushroom steak. Okay. We'll put that at eight. Easy so far. Loving it. Some fiber. Another owl. The burrow is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate with many levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches creating a warm inviting atmosphere. A lot of resin. Oh, here's some guys here. Sentinel Ben and Sentinel Aid. I know of a, a chef, Ben. I don't know if you've met him. Food at the Root Barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Lucky. Aid? My wife can make a mean pixie omelet. Does that use real pixies? I guess we can take that for food. Man, this is so cool. All this food. Oh, this kitchen's adorable. Doesn't look like it can interact with any of this. Salute to you too, sir. Hunt? That's unfortunate. May the sacred owl be with you, Vanguard. And you as well, my friend. Ooh. Good luck in the overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. Yes. <laughs> this reminds me, anybody? Of Ratatouille when he finds the mushroom and the uh, Remy goes on the roof with his brother to make it smoky. Anybody? Yeah. All right. Spikes in the water, you say. Gabriel. Be careful, Vanguard. There are some nasty creatures out there. Have you heard about the queen? I pray to Sacred Owl she makes a full recovery. Yes. Well, I'm going to go try and help the queen and all. You guys stay there and protect the spiky water. Wow. Oliver? Captain Hearn is stationed downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself to him. Got it. We're going to go meet Hearn. Got some wood here. Let's collect all this fiber. Because Hearn, it looks like uh, he's the guy with the armor. So we might need to collect some of this. Examine. You can lose health to a variety of factors being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from a great height, or being malnourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished, or sleeping well nourished. I think that's our stomach um, nourishment, yes. So we're 53. Comfortable is temperature, so I guess we can get hot or cold. Our stamina and our health. Pretty straightforward. Now, oop, you can roll in this game because it was a mapping key. Let me see if I... There we go. I mapped it to my mouse button, so we'll see how that works. Can I steal any of this? Any four-leaf clovers. I need all the luck I can get. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Ernest Manakabi, but most small folks simply call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Could you craft some armor for me, Captain? Sure, Vanguard, but you will have to bring me all the necessary materials. Padded clothing protects you from the cold, while the light gauntlets provide minimal protection but allow the wearer to move quickly. Maybe we should do a mixture of both. It seems like we're a little cold right now. Let me ask him some questions first, and I might edit some of this out for you. He mentions that weather can damage our constructions unless they're covered by a roof. I was told to report to you for my assignment. Oh, yes, I have been expecting you. 
The elder Ludwig has requested your presence. Go, see him at once. He is staying in the cave just down the hill. Thank you, Captain. I am ready to go. Before we go see the elder, let us see if we can get enough stuff to make armor. Can I just, uh, you know... Thank you for the blackberries. Let's eat something. That gave us 30 nourishment. Okay, so that guy was just telling us the importance of eating and keeping our nourishment high. And if we want to craft some armor, we're going to need more fiber and wood. So let's grab some of that. Oh, wow, look at those uh, butterflies. Grab this resin. There's an effigy here near this pond. Stay away from deep water. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you will respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory. Oh, very good. So we cannot swim. All right. Looks like we have another owl here. Temperature will generally drop at night and raise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out, as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Alright, so we're going to have to be careful at night time. It would be nice to have a little shelter built by then. Or at least a bed. I'm going to keep trying to grab some fiber. I was able to grab some fiber and wood. Let's talk to Hearn again. Aha. Uh -huh. So let us make the padded with cold resistance. I'm going to do light leggings and uh, light gauntlets. And then a padded wrap. And what am I missing? Oh no, that's it. That's all we needed. So we have, this is our look. I'm not too crazy about it. What do we got here? The light gauntlets, padded wraps, and light leggings. So we have some movement speed and some cold protection. Is it nighttime already? Oh. Look at the moth. Well, let's talk to the elder since it's nighttime and it's dark. Let's head in here. Can I build a torch? I can. Firefly torch. Wood firefly juice. Mm-hmm. Let's just make the regular torch. There we go. We cannot search those. Wow, we have found the elder. Vanguard, finally you're here. Well, I needed to make some armor and there's way too many owl effigies. Elder, what are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Have you tried a hammer? Who is the apothecary? Melker was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. He would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. So what's in the chest? Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement, the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailments known to small folk. Sounds like a bunch of hee-haw to me. Do you have any idea who might have taken the clover key? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill, and the clover key was needed. But it could have happened some time ago. No one's doing inventory on this thing? Have you tried forcing the chest? We dare not. <laughs> uh. The chest is heavily reinforced, and we would risk destroying the elixir within. I feel whoever, like, packaged this could have done a better job. I don't even feel we're really trying at this point. I was told you requested my presence, Elder. Ah, yes. We received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. 
Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the Clover Key? It is an interesting coincidence, but we have no evidence to suggest that there is a connection. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Hearn and Kelv can help you survive here in the Overland. All right, well, I'll leave now. Good luck with that chest thing. Oh, look at this little cabinet area. That is adorable. I want to make that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You feel hungry and thirsty. Uh, let's eat... S oh, let's eat our torch. Let's eat something. Hey, what do we got down here? Ah, it's the walnut chest. It looks like a chest made out of walnuts. On the back, there are hinges. On the front, it has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Try to open it? Oh boy, should we try? You try to force open the chest, but it won't budge. Well, I tried. Let's go. Time to leave. That's it. The queen is doomed. That's so cool. It's a cool model, though. Mm. Is it morning? Yep, it's morning time. I guess the next thing is just trying to build a base, huh? Oh, here we can finally use our axe on... Oop. Hello. Okay. Let's not accidentally hit that one because it will start beating us up. Okay. There we go. We took down the mushroom. Perfect. Do our weapons have durability? Oh, yes. You see on the side, the left-hand side there? I wonder if things respawn and, like, this mushroom will regrow. Okay, so that one's just saying uh, we get our materials back if we destroy a structure we've built. All of our materials, which is nice. What do we got down here? A screw? A screw. I need a mandibular pickaxe or better to get that rock. So we're going to have to kill one of those ants. We're going to want to build a Ooh, a bottle cap. I feel like we're going to want to build multiple bases. There seems to be a lot of ants around here. Oh yeah, look at that over there. Probably not where we want to set up. Ooh, and a dragonfly. I wonder if they're hostile when you're not in peaceful mode. It seems like this part of the map is a little more difficult. So let's head back this way. I'm going to look around and just see if I can find a place to set up a base. I'm kind of making my way up this tree here. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Especially since I haven't done a bed, so let's try not to fall down. Oh, wow. We are up. Oh, great. Oh, these are offerings to the... Owl. Um, you know what? This great owl would want us to have this. Thank you, great owl, wise one, giver of food and nourishment okay so let me craft a builder's hammer oh it gave us new recipes workbench simple bed simple chest you can build up here what I didn't think it would let us that would be cool but it is kind of a pain in the to get up here Look at that grasshopper in there. Beautiful. Oh, there's some mushrooms here. Let's 
could be a good little spot to start with. There's a little beach on the side. What do you guys think? A little beachfront property? I don't know about this grasshopper here. Hi. I've seen a uh, video, like the trailer of them riding a grasshopper, so that could be fun. I don't know how to do that. All right, I think I'm going to try and build right here. Let's see. Foundations. Take wood and fiber. Now, oh, that plant disappeared. That's exactly what I was going to ask. So it doesn't like us to build that high. Sir, I'm gonna need you to get out, please. Yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. So the game completely crashed, Small Lands crashed, and it kicked me out. And it looks like it got rid of what we were building, which is super frustrating. I'm going to try and get to that same spot and rebuild what I've done. Hopefully, uh, I'll have something to show you on my recording. Hopefully it recorded until then. So if the structure doesn't look quite the same, that's why. But I'll work on that and I'll be back with you guys. Oh, I'm dying. My poor lady was dying. I forgot to, you know, eat. So I made a campfire, grilled up some mushrooms, and I'm making a workbench. And I thought I'd bring you in for this, because I need to make some bandages, because she is dying. All right, that's pretty cool. And here we have the campfire. It doesn't take any wood or anything. It's all, it's just on. And it takes three mushrooms to make a steak, and we did that. I hate to do it to you guys, but the crash really messed me up. So I'm going to have to end the episode here. I'll finish up the house and try and figure out this roof situation. We kind of have like a two-story... Oh my. <laughs> Grasshopper scared me. I'm trying to do like a, a two-story thing where you can step down and this is our bedroom. There's our bed. But uh, I don't know how it's going to work with that roof. But yeah, I'll be sure to finish- Oh, that roof there, that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna finish it up. And in the next episode, we're gonna explore. There is- Who is it? Kelv we have to go visit? So we'll go check on him and just explore this beautiful world. And on that note, I appreciate you guys watching. You have a good one. Stay safe. And until the next time, bye.